The Kurdish National Council (KNC), Kurdish in Kumina Nistamani ya Kurdi li Suri e Circumflex, ENKS, Arabic, Almjuls Alni al Kurdi al Majlis al Watani al Kurdi, is a Syrian Kurdish political organization funded by the President of Iraqi Kurdistan Masoud Barzani and Turkey in the Syrian civil war. While KNC had initially more international support than the ruling Democratic Union Party PYD during the early years of the Syrian civil war and a strong supporter basis among some Syrian Kurdish refugees, the overwhelming popular support the PYD enjoys have shadowed it in Syrian Kurdistan. Since 2012, the alleged authoritarian and nationalist politics of the KNC has led many political parties to leave it. Over the years, its membership has shrunk and it has lost many of its supporters. Among the factions that left the KNC were the Kurdish Democratic Progressive Party in 2015, the parties in the Kurdish National Alliance in Syria as well as the Syrian Yazidi Council in 2016. As a result, the KNC has only two seats left in the Syrian Democratic Council by 2017. History The Kurdish National Council was founded in Haller on 26 October 2011, under the sponsorship of Kurdish Regional Government President Masoud Barzani, following the earlier creation of the Syrian National Council. The organization was originally composed of 11 Syrian Kurdish parties, however by May 2012 this had grown to 15. Several KNC parties have also on occasion come into conflict with other Kurdish groups like the Democratic Union Party PYD. In order to reduce tensions, Masoud Barzani mediated between the two groups in July 2012 at a diplomatic meeting in Haller. As a result, the PYD and some other Kurdish groups joined with the Kurdish National Council to form the Kurdish Supreme Committee along with a popular defense force to defend Syrian Kurdistan. The agreement became obsolete when the PYD with several pro-federal Kurdish parties abandoned the coalition after they accused the KNC of allying with Syrian rebels that were attacking Kurdish cities. Later, the PYD with other Kurdish, Arab and Assyrian parties made a deal for the aim of creating a polyethnic and progressive society and polity in the Rojava region, creating the Movement for a Democratic Society Topic: Criticism and conflict with the PYD The Kurdish National Council has been widely criticized in Syrian Kurdistan. The KNC has been accused of working with Turkey and the Syrian Salafist opposition forces against the Federation of Northern Syria, Rojava In 2016, some KNC leaders and members were accused of corruption, money laundering, spying, making propaganda for Turkey and involving in assassinations of NSR authorities and politicians. The KNC have several times formally refused to join the NSR administration and cooperating with other political parties. The KNC leader Ibrahim Biro said in his interview on Turkish pro-government Sabah newspaper that his council will never accept the PYD and asked all Western countries to start supporting their own forces instead of PYD and other NSR entities. KNC members and leaders have several times kept meetings with Turkish authorities for seeking cooperation against the PYD and other Kurdish political parties that Turkey sees as a threat. In 2016, the KNC asked Turkey to support them against the U.S.-backed Kurdish militia, People's Protection Units. There have been several demonstrations held by KNC supporters against the Federation of Northern Syria and PYD particularly. Many experts have had difficulties to understand the KNC. Karl Draht, a sociology researcher at the University of Oxford, said in his interview on ERA News that, It is hard to know what the KNC actually wants. There is a fundamental contradiction between the Kurdish nationalist ideology of the KNC and the political project of its Syrian allies Syrian opposition. Sometimes it seems that the only consistent policy of the KNC is to oppose anything that the PYD does." The PYD members have described the KNC as, "...an enemy of the peoples of Syria." On 13 August 2016, Asayish arrested Ibrahim Biro, leader of the KNC and the Kurdish Union Yekiti party, in Kamishli and took him to an unknown location. At the same day, reporter Wedit Hussein Ali who was working for ROJ TV, a TV channel linked to the PKK, had been killed in KDP-controlled area. 
Some ERA news journalists alluded that the two incidents might be linked to the rivalry between the PKK and KDP, which support the PYD and KNC, respectively. After Biro's detention, dozens who belonged to Yekiti Party, organized a sit-in in front of the city's PYD office to condemn the arrest, while PYD supporters took the South Kurdistan flag, symbol of both KNC as well as KDP, from the Yekiti Party's office in southern Kamishli. Biro was released the next day, claiming that he had been detained for the KNC's political activities, and that the PYD would fail, because it is impossible for the people of Syria to accept another dictatorship." He subsequently sought asylum in Doak with the KDP, though he said he would return to Rojava. According to Soar, the Asayish arrested further Yekiti Party and KDPS members in Amuda and the Afrin Canton on 16 August, most prominently Yekiti politician Anwar Nasso. The arrests prompted further sit-ins and protests by KNC supporters. Most of the arrested KNC members, among them Anwar Nasso, were released a few hours later. The rest of them were released on 24 November 2016, after the outbreak of the Battle of al Hasaka between pro-government and pro-PYD forces on the same day of August 2016. The KNC condemned the Syrian government for their attacks on civilians and urged both sides to stop fighting. At the same time, however, KNC politicians also said that the PYD should allow the Rojava Peshmerga into the city to protect the Kurdish population and that, at best, the government should be driven from Rojava. On 19 September, the Syrian Yazidi Council left both the KNC as well as the Syrian National Council after months of tension over the "...failure to acknowledge the SNC's Arabism and Islamism problems." And the lack of representation for Yazidis within the Syrian opposition. On 25 October, the Kurdish National Council condemned the indiscriminate Turkish bombings on populated towns such as Jandaris and other towns in the northern Aleppo Governorate. The council stated that, The Turkish army and allied Islamist rebels have been killing civilians, carrying out indiscriminate shelling and airstrikes on populated areas and demanded the Turkish armed forces to withdraw its forces. A KNC member also denounced the Turkish focus on attacking the Syrian Democratic Forces as part of the Turkish military intervention in Syria. On 24 November, Asayish released some KNC politicians and many activists with the rest to be released. In the following days, Zara Saleh of the Yekiti Party said that his party saw this first step as a positive sign and a good start, and that his party's leadership is ready to begin negotiations with PYD and the movement for a democratic society, to reach a new deal." On 30 March 2017, the Kurdish National Council withdrew from the High Negotiations Committee in protest of the HNC's policies. An official in the Kurdish Unity Party, part of the KNC, stated that the Syrian opposition are against federalism and constitutional Kurdish national rights, and they want to delay discussing Kurdish rights in the future." On 30 April, the Afrin branch of the Kurdish National Council released a statement condemning the April 2017 Turkish airstrikes in Syria and Iraq. We condemn and denounce the Turkish aggression and demand the government of Ankara to stop the attacks immediately. We also ask PYD, Democratic Union Party, authorities to change its approach and authoritarian behavior and move towards a national and responsible approach to serve the unity of the Kurds and the Kurdish project in the face of challenges and serious risks in the present time and in the future for our Kurdish people. The council stated Topic. Ideology Although the KNC has joined the Syrian National Coalition and is a part of the Syrian opposition, there are some key differences between the KNC and the SNC over their approach to the issue of decentralization, with the KNC pressing for Kurdish autonomy, whereas the SNC has rejected anything more than administrative decentralization. The issue of federalism and autonomy is also a point of contention for KNC and PYD, even though both parties have very similar aims. As such, the KNC has condemned the PYD's declaration of a federation in northern Syria as an attempt to break up Syria without previous debate and democratic participation. The KNC further claimed that it strictly opposes any attempt to impose federalism on the Syrian people without a preceding discussion. 
These statements have raised confusion among observers, with Karl Draht, a sociology researcher at the University of Oxford, commenting that, "...it is hard to know what the KNC actually wants. There is a fundamental contradiction between the Kurdish nationalist ideology of the KNC and the political project of its Syrian allies." Sometimes it seems that the only consistent policy of the KNC is to oppose anything that the PYD does." Some Syrian Kurdish refugees in Iraqi Kurdistan, who are believed to mostly support the KNC, have been also critical of the federalism declaration by PYD. Some of them fear that further tensions in Syria would arise as a result of the declaration, while they simply wish for an end of hostilities. Despite these divisions about how to implement Kurdish autonomy, the KNC still generally supports federalism. This was shown when Syrian opposition leader Michel Kilo outright condemned any attempt of Kurds to establish federalism in Syria, negatively comparing them to Israel. The KNC reacted to the statement in which it accused Kilo of racism and acting to please Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Turkey. Nevertheless, the KNC also argued that the Kurds still had friends among the Syrian National Coalition, thereby reiterating their general support for the Syrian opposition. <laughs> <laughs> Military wing The KNC leader claimed that partially in response to the military power of the PYD, the KNC formed its own paramilitary wing, the Rojava Peshmerga. Ibrahim Biro claimed that Rojava Peshmergas were mostly recruited from Syrian Kurdish refugees and Syrian army deserters in northern Iraq. Trained by Iraqi Peshmerga and Ziravani under Major General Bajat Tamiz, the Rojava Peshmerga had a claimed strength of 3,000 fighters by June 2016. Their primary purpose is to defend Kurdish areas, and to fight the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. According to Kurdish Policy, an independent public policy institute, more than 5,000 Rojava Peshmergas were funded and trained by Turkey to be used against the PYD ruled Kurdish autonomy in Syria. It has been seen as an attempt to gain leverage by empowering opposition Kurds against the PYD, due to the tensions between PYD and KNC, and low manpower comparing to the People's Protection Units, the Rojava Peshmerga haven't been able to enter in Syria. In course of the siege of Kobani, the KNC offered to send 200 fighters to support the city's defences, but was rejected by the PYD as the latter wanted all Kurdish units to fight as part of the YPG and YPJ. The KNC leader claimed that the YPG even hindered the KNC's Peshmerga who had been trained in Iraqi Kurdistan from entering Rojava at all. Since the formation of the Syrian Democratic Forces, YPG officials have declared, however, that KNC fighters are generally welcome to join the alliance. Despite discussions about possibly joining, the KNC has so far rejected military cooperation with pro-PYD forces. Ibrahim Biro stated as reasons for this that they the SDF have a good relation with the Syrian regime, that's why we cannot join them." Despite their tensions with the PYD, however, the KNC has also rejected inquiries of Syrian opposition groups to send the Rojava Peshmerga to Azaz to defend the city against both ISIL as well as YPG during the northern Aleppo offensive. Bajat Tamas declared that the Rojava Peshmerga, "...don't want to fight Kurds, only ISIS." Currently, the Rojava Peshmerga are mostly fighting ISIL in Iraq. On the 2nd of March 2017, Rojava Peshmerga forces attacked Yazidi militia affiliated to the Ybis in Sinjar, resulting in the deaths of five as well as two militants affiliated to the PKK who attempted to prevent the clashes. At least four Peshmerga were also injured in the clashes. Topic: <laughs> List of constituent parties. See also Rojava Rojava conflict <laughs>